there's the interface there there should be generally under the dash somewhere I can feel it's right here there's a port that I'm gonna go ahead and connect this up to and then let me move the camera around and we'll see uh, what it is so I'm basically just gonna plug this in and turn the key to on and it should uh, it should be uh, letting us know uh, what's going on it should be able to read the codes all right so give me give me a second I'll hook it up okay guys so I've got it plugged in essentially and uh, all I did was just plug it into the port and uh, turn the key to on now the minute I plugged it in it came on but uh, anyway I turned the key to on because the other ones that I've used uh, you have to have the key to on so it looks like we've got a few different things we've got diagnostics DTC lookup tool setup and then of course you got a help menu pretty good tactile tactile buttons here um, we'll go ahead and we'll hit diagnose uh, it'll process what it's going to do is it's going to read the CAN bus and uh, tell us if there's any problems now I just noticed that I replaced some sensors a while back and I thought the engine light was still on but uh, it turns out it wasn't so if you look in here if you look at this on try to get the glare off glare off of it but it's got DTCs and ECU which is the uh, the codes you can take and you can read read codes okay so it's going to get um, some supporting data DTC loading so hopefully it will tell us okay the vehicle has no fault codes so basically um, if there's any codes stored in memory and a lot of times what happens what throws a code is let's say you have a spark plug fouling let's say it'll actually um, put the engine light on which doesn't mean that you know your car is falling apart it just means that uh, you know you've got the engine light there's a problem and it threw a code so with one of these you can read that code it'll tell you what the code is as well as it'll give you a description of what the code is and so it'll tell you that it found and it'll tell you exactly which cylinder is misfiring and everything they're actually really cool so I'm gonna back up here you can erase codes a lot of times if let's say you get that code and it uh, you fix the spark plug okay and you, you no problems you've you fixed the spark plug um, and uh, you found out that it was a broken wire or something and so you replaced it and it should be good you'll notice that the the still on the car will still show the check engine light well this is where you go to erase codes and you'll hit OK and it'll say uh, clear reset uh, emission related uh, diagnostic information are you sure you'll hit OK if not you'll hit backwards and it'll basically run you through all that now it also has other things that you can do it's got data stream it's got freeze frame O2 sensors we all know that uh, O2 sensors have problems um, we can do an O2 sensor test let's go ahead and do that um, let's do bank one sensor one um, I'd have to look up in the book what the bank one sensor one uh, and sensor two and then bank two sensor one sensor two are um, where they're actually placed at for this specific vehicle I'd have to look that up but uh, basically we can test them you know okay and then it should rich to lean sensor V okay okie doke test ID 01 blah, blah 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 and down here under status it says pass so it passed so that means that the sensor is operational it's working so basically if you have a problem where your car is having trouble uh, uh, like running right it's not running real good it's not really missing but like you know if you stand behind it your eyes are watering you know what I'm talking about you know basically there's so it's running so rich or so uh, you know fuel heavy and not enough there's not a, the, the O2 sensors is basically how the engine knows uh, how much air to mix with the fuel when it puts it into the engine and so if those sensors are bad it could not be sensing enough oxygen in the exhaust when it comes out and so it's thinking that it's needing to put more fuel in so it'll run it really rich it'll put lots and lots of fuel in and which is causing your, your efficiency to go to crap as well as it can cause wear and tear on your rings and things like that and so this is a good way to check your O2 sensors if you suspect something like that's going on and it hasn't thrown a code yet because a lot of times the engine will throw a code if the sensor is bad but um, if, if it doesn't and you're wondering about it you can use this cool little tool here we go to check this one see that one passed as well so you can check your O2 sensors with it which is actually quite nice uh, let's see what else do we have here we've got onboard monitoring evaporation system mode 8 so you can change up how your evap system works uh, and then you check your vehicle information it'll actually pull out 
the VIN number, the CID, CVN, it'll pull out all that information just by reading the CAN bus. It's actually quite slick. So having one of these tools is very, very nice. Um, like I said, you can erase codes, you can check out um, O2 sensor test, you just all kinds of stuff. Are you sure to exit the diagnostic function? Yeah, sure. So that's for diagnose. We've got the DTC lookup which, oh, I can't remember what that is. Oh yeah, it's for the different different codes that it pumps out. You can put in the code number that it pumps out and it'll look it up and tell you, I think, more information about it. So when you diagnose and you find the codes that it's throwing, um, then you can put it into that and it'll tell you uh, what that code means. And so that, a lot of times I just Google the code. That's mainly what I do. Um,